Hey there, friends. Jeff Fritz here, and I want to talk to you about something that many of us overlook. And that's when we're building websites, we've got text boxes and entry fields where folks can upload files, and we're just trusting the content that folks upload. We should really be doing antivirus scanning on these things. We should be checking, making sure that there's no malware being sent into our systems. How do we do that? Let me show you. I built a website using one of the samples from the Microsoft Learn documentation that allows you to do a file upload. And I got it connected to Clam AV, the open source antivirus scanner, so that we can scan and protect against files that may be uploaded with a little bit of malware. Let's go take a look. So here it is. It, this is a simple website, and I can choose to upload a file here that will be scanned and interacted with. So if I do this real quick, I'll choose a picture of this lovely person here. And there it is came through and it uploaded just fine. But behind the scenes, I have antivirus scanning running against this. This website is running with .NET Aspire. And I have my .NET Aspire dashboard over here, and you can see I have an antivirus container running. And if I zoom back, you can see it is a Clam AV Docker container. It's an open source container. It's the latest version. It's out there running, inspecting, and looking at content that's sent to it. We can take a look at the logs there, and we can see that it's configured and all ready to receive and work with content that's sent to it to be scanned. Cool. So my website knows how to connect and interact with that. How's this code written? What's it? What's it doing behind the scenes there? Let's take a look at some of the source code. So here's my .NET Aspire configuration where I've added a Clam antivirus resource, and I'm naming it antivirus, and I'm passing in and I'm saying, here's a data volume to save it to on disk so that we persist those antivirus definitions and doesn't have to reload it every time. And I pass a reference to that antivirus resource that's declared up here with the AV variable name, I pass that into my front-end web application. If we take a look at that front-end web application over here, when content is uploaded, it comes into this service. We get the connection string for the antivirus service up here, and we store it inside this static URI up here, so we know where to go and connect to our antivirus service. We check out and open the first file here, open it for reading, and we just get this stream of data from it. We're not interacting with it, just grabbing those bytes, creating a client that knows how to interact using the nclam nuget package, and go scan and let us know what you find. This is a bit of sample code that I've written just to test this out and figure out if this makes sense. I've got all the source code for you. You can check out the GitHub repository for this proof of concept. Check out the link in the description just below so you can see more about this. And I return an appropriate error code here if we find a virus or if there's any kind of an error. The point being, we should only write our files to disk or save them in a database if they're scanned and they come through clean. Only if they get a result with that is clean, that is not a virus, that is not an error. And we'll pass back appropriate error messages if we do find a virus or if we do have an error. What do you think? Is this something that you would try? If we made it this easy to just add a CLAM resource, an antivirus resource, into your Aspire project so you can inspect and make sure that files uploaded from all of our friends on the internet are clean and free of malware. Let me know in, in the discussion down below. This is something that we're tinkering with, and I, I want to find out if we should explore and add more features to. It's very basic. We need to add telemetry. We need to add some other features to it. So it's a little bit more full-featured, so we get great logging on in our dashboard. 
and in our other resources when we export the telemetry from this. So let me know what you think, and we'll do more exploring on this. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.